nearly completed the next video for you lovely lot. Right, a little tip today that I've actually um, discovered is polish your bowls. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that before. But I bought these bowls, uh, £4.50 I think I paid for them, and they were in alright condition. They were a little bit tatty, but I literally just used a, a car compound polish. People who don't know me, I'm quite into my cars, and... I used to do valeting, um, car valeting. So I have loads of polishes and, and things like that. That's why I gave them a good polish. And hey presto, they look great again. Right, so I've got this stuff here. It's great. It comes in a variety of different colors. And I need a cloth, so give me a minute. Yeah, so as I was saying, it comes in a variety of different colours. But I've got brown because for some reason I mainly seem to pick up a brown shoes. I have no idea why, it just seems to be the way it goes. Let me adjust this so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. No, that was worse. There you go. All right, so just dust these down a little bit. So, it's like a, a pigment cream. So get a little dollop of it. Yep, I'm aware of what it looks like. Put it on the shoe. Spread it all around. Hopefully you can hear me over the washing machine. Basically what I believe it is, it's like a, a sort of polish rejuvenating type thing. It's like a polish. But yeah, absolutely smother it on. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. The lighting is not great. Look, loads of blown bulbs. Should really go out and get some bulbs. Right, okay. So, that's all of it on. Get your little brush. I have actually got some decent brushes on the way, but stupidly, I ordered them from Japan. So, let me just polish it off. instant transformation so old shoe new shoe let's do the other one
So again, a bit of the pigment all over the shoe. Smells really good as well. I'm sure people don't like the smell, but I could like eat the tub. It smells that good. There we go. And then give it your best polish. Now these weren't actually that bad, believe it or not. I had a pair of Lokes, if you saw my uh, top 10 video. They were in there and they were actually quite bad. And this, this stuff just brought them up so good. Right, there you go. And then, Just to finish it off a little bit. Some blackening agent. Back around the shoes. Whoops. Gives it that little extra pop. You know, this is what will make the difference between you getting good money for your shoes and just average money for your shoes. Just put in that little bit of effort. You know, and the stuff that I've got here is not expensive stuff. I think the sapphire pigment stuff was no more than £10 and then believe it or not all this black trimming stuff I bought from Poundland it just gives it that little bit more You know, you get what you put in. And if you just take some time. Really awkward getting into these little bits down here. And then I've got this one, which is pretty much the same as that, just in a, a, a bigger dose. Do all the underside nice and then getting all those little nooks and crannies. This stuff, on the other hand, does not smell nice. <laughs> but you can't knock the results. Off. Let's wipe off the excess and there you go look at that that was a pair of shoes that was 
worth five pound and are now worth more than five pound. All right, so I've got these golf shoes and I've cleaned the bottom of them already, as you can see. And I'm literally just gonna use some of this. Try and shine them up a little bit. This is basically the same as that, just in a, a bigger sort of sponge. Just adds a nice little shine to them. more pennies out of people they look nice and shiny and these are practically well, well they're not new obviously but they've hardly been worn like this one has still got its original um, barcode label in it Once I've done this, I'll then go around with my blackening one. Actually, what I might do is Again, the blackening, the blah 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 blackening. Oh, it looks like I might need to get some more this soon. It looks like it's running out. There you go. Again, it's probably didn't really need it, but. effort that you put in and all that. Anyway, and that is how I clean up shoes. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it helps you. I hope it makes you more interested in actually diversing into buying shoes. Is that even the correct term of use there? I don't know. But, as you can see, it's very, very easy to add value to shoes. You can basically make something that was not looking very nice to looking much nicer. And if it gets you a few extra coins, then you can't complain. And as I say, these little kits, I got them from Poundland. So I'm not heavily invested in them. You can invest in better stuff. And if you start doing really, really well with shoes, I'd probably advise you invest in better stuff. Um, definitely, definitely get yourself some of this. They do it in loads of different colors. They do it in loads of variations of colours as well, so you got darkers, lighters. I think they also do just a an all round one, which is perfect for any colour. But personally, I'd buy ones for the colours. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. Please subscribe, please like, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next one.